بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله I greet you all with the greeting of Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته May the peace and the blessing of Almighty Allah be with you all I'd like to welcome you all for continuation of our series concerning concise fiqh Today inshallah we have a new segment which is segment number 13 talks about نهواقد الوضوء things which breaks the wudu ablution things which make the ablution is no good anymore number one الخارج من السبيلين things which pass from the two exits or the body that means the private parts whatever that he pass from the private parts it breaks the wudu and this include defecation, urine, passing gas, wind, anything like this or blood, cement, uh, muddy, wadi any things coming out of the private parts it will break the wudu Due to the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Ma'idah verse number 6 أو جاء أحد منكم من الغائط When one, one of you comes out of the bathroom And statement of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which in the collection of Imam al-Bukhari rahmatullahi alayhi that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying لا يقبل الله صلاة أحدكم إذا أحدث حتى يتوضا فقال رجل من حضر موت ما الحدث يا ابا هريره قال في ساء او ضرار ذات the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم saying that Allah doesn't accept a prayer of one of you if he breaks his wudu until he make a fresh wudu the imam from حضر موت ask ابو هريره what is hadith he say passing gas Similar to this, as I stated, al-mazi, al-mani, awadi, cement of other fluid that comes out of the penis or the private parts and also require a wudu, fresh wudu. So we say anything comes out of the private parts of the human being, it will break the wudu doesn't matter the color, the uh, liquid is uh, solid, anything comes out of the private parts. Number two is sleeping. Sleeping which a person with, that will, will lose his or her senses. They could not hear anymore, so that means they are sleeping. Now it doesn't matter if the person is sitting or leaning, this will break the wudu. So we say a sleep that which you don't have any feeling anymore. This due to Hadith Safwan ibn Asal, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet ﷺ used to command us when we are traveling not to remove our hoofs before three days. And it's nice unless it is a janaba, sexual defile. But a person who used the bathroom or urinated or sleep. So here the Prophet ﷺ made the sleep equal to using the bathroom both of them break the wudu there is a clear clear cut about this also from hadith Ali may Allah be pleased with him which is the collection of Imam Ibn Majah rahmatullah alayhi the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam seen al-aynu wika as-sah faman nama fal yatawadda ay is the ties of the anus 
if a person fall asleep, let him make wudu. So as long your eyes is open, that you have a control or a sensation about what comes out of you. So if the eyes fall into sleep, so now there is no way that you can determine if he best gas or not. Number three, losing mind due to drunkenness or illness or fainting or anything like this because this is more deeper than sleeping. So by losing your sensation and your feeling, your awareness that there is a good possibility that you pass gas or so if a person went in a state like this, this also will be a means of breaking the wudu. Number four, touching the private parts if it's not, if it's combined with desire. Because we have hadith Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa which is saying, Man masa dhakarahu falyatawadda Whosoever touch his private parts or his penis, let him make a fresh wudu. But in other hadiths which are also authentic in the collection of Ibn Majah, that the Prophet ﷺ being questioned about touching the private parts, he said, Hal huwa illa bid'atum mink? Is it not a part of your body? So the same way that touching your ear doesn't break the, ear, uh, the wudu, touching your toe is not, or your nose doesn't break the wudu, so the same thing would be touching your penis it doesn't break the wudu so that means if you touch it with a desire so this will be a breaking of the wudu number five and the last issue for things which break the wudu eating the meat of the camel eating camel meat due to hadith of the prophet وسلم, which is reported by al-bara bin azib قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم توضأوا من لحوم الإبل make wudu after eating camel meat and this hadith in the collection of Ibn Majah and the Tirmidhi and the hadith is authentic so basically this is five things if happen to any person male or female they have to make a fresh wudu before they start their prayer Otherwise, their prayer is not acceptable, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Thank you for watching. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa atubu ilayka, and Allah knows best.